Hey, what's up? It's Ryan from RNA Music, deep in the heart of Texas. And uh, here's another guitar of the day. Guitar of the day. Boom. Guitar of the day. All right, so I had a request to do the uh, guitar of the day thing with my Chapman ML2 Trans Black guitar now hopefully you've seen some of my other videos uh, I actually have an unboxing video where I'm opening it up for the first time and playing it and all that I was very excited so excited you can go check that out right here so there's that video you can check that out and uh, show me opening up and my reaction to it and all that but for the sake of our Guitar of the Day little series we're doing, I'll go over it again. Rob Chapman of the YouTube fame, the Monkey Lord, as you may know him, um, has a guitar company called Chapman Guitars. The thing that's unique about Chapman Guitars is that all of the uh, models, pretty much, except for signature ones, all of the uh, guitars so far are collaboratively designed, which means they're voted on by the public. Basically, he takes, he opens up his website, and everybody gets a chance to vote on uh, the body shape, uh, the pickup configuration, specs, like how many frets it is, um, what kind of wood. The ML2, this is a uh, mahogany, mahogany guitar. It's got this particular one. The new, the newer ones have the uh, flame veneer, maple neck, three-piece maple neck, which is cool. And uh, so it's it's a voted on by the public thing. Uh, vote on specs. Vote on frets. Vote on scale length. Vote on type of hardware. All that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool that the general public gets to decide what guitar gets made next. Strat style, double cut, you know, S type guitar. And then uh, the ML2 was next. And uh, this one appealed to me because I'm kind of a, into single cut style guitars, personally. Um, let's see, they have the ML3 vote has been up now, so they're coming out with a, a T type or a Tele type of guitar is the next guitar that's gonna be produced. That was voted on by the public. There's also some seven strings that have been voted on and we have a T-type 7 string coming out and then an S-type strat type super strat type 7 so there's two 7s coming out soon there's the ML3 coming out which is the Tele uh, beyond that there's they had a uh, Rob's personal signature guitar which is a, a T-type but with a carved top and some other things that probably won't come on the ML3 and then uh, Rabia Masad uh, has a signature guitar that's pretty sweet and then Lee Anderton who's um, basically one of the partners who makes Chapman Guitars run um, has a signature guitar based on uh, one of his favorite guitars <laughs> So anyway, that's kind of the spec. Um, this is the ML2. Ebony fretboard, uh, extra jumbo frets, which is nice. Maple neck. It is a set neck. Nice uh, cutaway here. It's kind of scalloped, um, contoured. I would say it, it's kind of odd because it doesn't really feel like a Les Paul. Because you look at it and you think, hey, it's a Les Paul type guitar. It's not really uh, like a Les Paul. 
I mean, it's a single cut, but that's about it because it's got 24 frets. Um, the scale is 25 inches, which is a bit odd for me. I'm used to 24 and 3 quarter inch scale guitars. That's all I've ever owned. That's all I've ever played for 20 something years, 25 years, <laughs> uh, is 24 and 3 quarter inch scale. So for me personally, getting used to a, a 24 fret guitar that's 25 inches, it, it requires a little uh, adapting on my part. I have to kind of adjust for it. Um, we got Chapman humbuckers, uh, the Guitarnivore humbuckers, which are, you know, signature, not signature, they're um, basically the Chapman model pickups. We've got a volume, volume, volume tone, volume, volume tone, and then the tone knob is also a push pull thing so you can go between uh, humbuckers and then coil taps or split or whatever you whatever tap split split tap whatever it is so there's uh the chapman ml2 in a nutshell i mean a nutshell but um more information of course there's you can go to chapman guitars go to their website check it out uh there's a bunch of videos about them you know rob has made a bunch of videos <laughs> this ML2 because right now you may or may not know that you can only get them in England uh, from Anderton's Music. Uh, they are the currently they're the exclusive distributor for Chapman guitars although they're looking for some American uh, dealers. So you can only get it from them and that's what I did. I ordered mine from Anderton's in sunny England and they flew it over here. And I got it uh, UPS, no problems with shipping. It was great. It was very fast shipping too, considering it was coming from another continent. This is probably the first guitar that I bought brand new and like paid, you know, regular brand new guitar pricing on in a really, really, really long time. Um, but I had to do that because there was no other way to get it. You know, there weren't any really used ones out. This is the first. This is the first batch of the new Korean. Um, Specked out higher end guitars, and you know, so I had to buy a brand new. But uh, I bought it, I've been following Rob Chapman on YouTube for several years, and then active on his forum on his website, and uh, follow his videos. Just really liked the guy, uh, he was funny, he was entertaining, he could play the guitar really well, and uh. I watched them as they come out with their first couple of models and how the company grew and um, I was impressed and I thought it was pretty cool what they were doing and uh, really I just wanted to be a part. I wanted to have something that almost nobody else really had. It was a brand new guitar on the market. Nobody else really had them and I liked the idea of that so I, I ordered one. I think this was number number four. <laughs> This is the, according to the serial number, this is the fourth ML2 in trans black from the very first batch of Korean guitars produced. This looks like the fourth trans black ML2. So that's pretty cool. I don't really have any complaints. It's a little bit different um, The because it is a flat top guitar. I mean, even though it is a single cut based on a, you know, Les Paul style, it is not an arch top. It is a flat top guitar um, which is no big deal for me I'm used to playing my Explorer which is a flat top which I like and um, I dig it I'm happy with it so so let's uh, let's hear what it sounds like a little bit the request that I had from somebody was to play it through the Mesa dual rectifier most of my videos I end up playing through my my Jet City which I love Tremendously. I'm a big fan of the Jet City. Of course, I have the Mesa sitting here too. Uh, they wanted to hear some Mesa tones with the ML2, so I'm going to do that for you right now. Let's check it out.
with the split, coil taps, coil split, whatever it is. I don't care. So here's some uh, bridge pickup with the coil split involved. So coil split, bridge pickup, high gain, Mesa, boogie, dual rectifier. <laughs> guitars <clears throat> ML2 for you um, I like this guitar I'm a big fan of Chapman guitars and what they do and what they stand for and kind of what they're bringing to the market they're doing things a little bit different and um, yeah I foresee probably getting another Chapman guitar I actually have my eye on the ML3 RC which is this Rob signature guitar uh, because it is a carved top T-type. I'm not a T-type guy. But something about that carved top on a telly is really sweet. I'm a sucker for carves. And carbs. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed my Guitar of the Day with the uh, Chapman ML3 through the Mesa this time. And... Uh, Thanks a lot for watching. It really means a lot that you guys watch what I do and subscribe and leave me comments and that kind of stuff. So I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Keep the music alive. See you soon.